hey hey everybody and welcome back so in today's video we are going to be setting up our february budget stuff so first off we have our erin condren 7x9 monthly planner i have a link down below if you want to check out erin condren's site see if there's a planner that interests you to get started on your budget and we are using my envelope or envelopes we are using my stickers from my etsy shop for february super excited so we're going to set up quite a few of these today some of them are not going to have all the numbers in them just because we have a few more days till everything gets cleared so we'll fill those in just as soon as all of those are cleared from the account for like debt and our sinking funds so first off we're going to take our monthly kit here and lay it out okay so February, I'm hoping that is going to turn into a fabulous month. January was kind of a flop. It's okay though, because we're gonna recover. So there's that. We got a thin washi for bottom. All right, so there's that side. And then for this side, perfect and I'm gonna take this all the way across the bottom because I didn't like it being torn like I did last month so all right so there is our monthly view love the floral colors with this one here super pretty all right so next up, we are going to flip over one sheet and we are going to set up our debt tracker here. We're going to fill in two of our beginning numbers just because they haven't changed. No, we're going to only fill in one because I'm going to pay student loans um, and get that going there. Let me pull this out. All right. So we're going to set that up here. So we're going to use this washi set and we're going to lay it out. I know everyone seemed to have a rough January. So let's see anything good that happened in January. Let's read them in the comments. We need some good stuff. Because my kids oh, missed a lot of school this month and all that. So what is something good that happened in January? Leave us a comment. I want to read some good comments. For us, let's see, starting back working at the tax office was a good thing, getting a little extra a week. So that was good. All right. We are gonna skip four lines because we have four debts. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. And I like to skip one just so that way I know I have plenty of space. All right, so there's those. All right, so we're gonna list all of our debts out. First up, we have the Highlander, which is our family car that I usually drive the most. Then we have the Camaro, which is James's car. We have medical, and this medical has accumulated over quite some time. And then student loans which we are slowly working on with just the minimum payments because there's no interest or actual minimum payments due right now, which has been fabulous. So medical is the only one we have a number for right now because it hasn't changed, which is 11,973 and 14 cents. I'm hoping as soon as we get some of these other ones down or completely paid off, we can get tackle that medical, but it's progress. All right, we're gonna take another thick washi. Now for us, I like to do a actual transaction log for our debt tracker page here. We pay our cars every two weeks. That way it helps keep the interest down and it'll add a whole payment by the end of the year. And then on the Camaro, we throw, if we have our debt snowball that hits a thousand, we throw all of that towards the debt that we are tackling at the time, which usually right now is the Camaro to help pay that down. So we want to make sure we track 
all transactions going to our debt tracker. All right, so there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and draw in our lines on this one. All right, I'm gonna take a, we're gonna take this pretty one here and put down here at the bottom. All right, so there is that page. So as soon as we make our last two car payments and make the student loan payment, I can fill in those numbers so it clears. And we have this sheet here. So in a separate video, we'll do our paycheck breakdown setup because it takes quite a little bit longer to do that one by itself. But um, the income we have for February helps covers our bills and expenses. And if you wanna check out where that's gonna go, it'll be our paycheck breakdown. So on this sheet here though, we are going to set up our budget for the month and our budget is going to be super tight. So I kind of went under our income amounts that we had previously because like I said, January was a very, very, very rough month. All right. So there's our pretty one at the top. Here's our budget kit. So we have two different ways if you want to track your budget. So for me, I used my income strips here and then I split them up between fixed and variables, but you also have the option of doing expenses where you can do all of your bills and expenses all the way straight down your page. And I also have individual paychecks so you can budget each individual paycheck. So lots of options on the Etsy shop. So if you're interested. So we're gonna lay this one down. For income. All right. So for right now, we have four sources of incomes that we track and see what we have coming in. First up is James's income for the month. We have my income, which will include YouTube, Etsy, and Herbalife. And then I work at a tax office, so I try to track that separately. So we'll put office, and then we have other. So anything extra that we wasn't expecting or wasn't planning to come in, we'll go under the other, other category. All right, we're gonna take our total strip next. Here we go. All right, so January's budget, we were six so much and James didn't work as much. I didn't work as much. Um, so we were out of work quite a bit. So I went ahead for February, just in case I went with James's least amount check, which was $706. So I went to 700 and times it by four, which is how many times he'll get paid. So for his, we were estimating about 28. Hopefully everything goes well and we'll get more than that. But right now that is our least amount that we can work with for me. I know that the nutrition club, I did not work as many hours, so I will not get paid as much as I had been. So, and YouTube hasn't reached a hundred, so I'm not gonna be paid from YouTube. And um, Etsy, I'm not sure how much I'll get for the month. So I only budgeted 150 coming in from me. And then the tax office, a hundred, because there's three Saturdays that are possibly me not being able to work, so. Definitely under budgeted all of us, all of our incomes for this month, just because I know there's stuff that's going to be happening. And I want to make sure that I have that in my mind when I fill out our budget. So that's a total of $3,050 for us. All right. So this is how much we're going to be working with when we do our paycheck breakdown to see how much we're going to have going towards all of our categories for the month. And we're gonna take this green, separate it. Here we go. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna do our fixed. So now we're moving down here to our fixed and variable amounts. These numbers here were all funded last month in January. So now we're just putting them in here so we can track exactly how much we spent for each bill and expense, variable and fixed for the whole month of February. So for the fixed, that first up is our cars. 
We have our rent for the month. We have Allstate, which is our insurance. Cell phones. Student loans. Internet. Storage. and pest control. All right. And I always skip a line because sometimes I miss one, even though I've been doing this for the past year and a half, almost two years, maybe even longer. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. I like to skip a line just in case one gets missed when I fill in our budget. So, all right. So for our mounts here, for the cars, we owe nine twenty. So this here is for both cars. Rent is six hundred. Allstate is two eighty five. Our cell phones is one eighty six. Student loans is sixty. Internet is fifty six. Storage is 64. Pest control is 33. So this here, all of this is completely funded from January's income. So that's awesome to think about and have in the back of my head. Here, we'll lay down our February budget up here. Okay, variable side. All right, so for variables, we have our power. Power and our water get based on our usage for the month. So that varies and fluctuates each and every month. January is always the highest and it goes back under 70 for water. Power is between 120 to $200 depending on how much gas and heat we have to use in the house. All right, next up we have groceries. We have gas for our cars, personal spending money, miscellaneous, sinking funds, savings, debt, cushion, and then anything unbudgeted for the month. All right, so there's all of those. Total strip here. All right, so let's draw in our lines on this side. All right, so for power, we budgeted $200. Water, 700. We haven't done our last stuffing yet to see exactly how much grocery gas spending miscellaneous all receiving. And then for sinking fund savings, debt, cushion, and unbudgeted, we don't have anything budgeted for it until the end of the month. We know how much we actually put towards all of those. All right, so as soon as I do my last stuffing for January, I'll know exactly how much we have to throw into those. But all of our bills are always fully funded before these here. So that is a good thing. Now we are going to take, let's close it out with this one. We're going to go down to this. All right. So that is our February budget here. All right. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and lay out our weekly check-in kits here. All right, so there's our washi at the top.
All right, so for our weekly check-in, we are checking in for our groceries for the week, our gas, personal spending, miscellaneous, and unbudgeted. So five lines is what we'll need each week. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then I will lay down week two, three, and four. I wanna say we're gonna check in for four weeks. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna lay the rest of those down. I'll be right back. So there is our weekly check-in. We're gonna go ahead and draw in our lines. So underneath each week here, I like to track from which date to which date. That way I don't lose track. On there, we have our categories, section next. So we know where we spent it, how much we spent, remaining balance, And then we have notes, so if you want to write down how much you have left per week to kind of keep you on a weekly amount, or if there's like a reason that you spent way more and you want to remember why you end up spending more that week on one thing or another, you can do that. So I'm going to write in our, our categories and I will be back in a minute. All right, so there is all of our categories ready to go for the whole month and it is set up. So on this side here, we were doing a running transaction log. I like to see, do, use the highlighter method and highlight and color coordinate this with our uh, monthly view page. So that way I can just look over it really quickly and see exactly how many transactions we had for groceries, for gas, just make it a little easier. And it gives me a little more space to write like, what exactly it was for so if we have a big purchase i can kind of keep up and be like oh that's what that was that's why we spent so much all right so we're just going to lay down a simple transaction log there we go so any of these kits that y'all see are all listed in my etsy shop so if you want to check those out i have it linked down below so there's that. I think we're going to use, use this one down here at the bottom. Make it party and go together. Uh oh, too far. There we go. All right, so let's draw in our lines. Normally I don't fill up a whole page, but I say that and then I end up filling up a whole page. So there we go. All right, so there's our transaction log. All right, so our last page that we need to set up will be our sinking funds. And I haven't closed out sinking funds quite yet from January. So we're just gonna be setting this up and um, getting our categories wrote down. So we are going to take our rose washies and lay it down on this side. And if you have the Erin Condren, and the seven by nine, I count down four lines to get it to lay perfectly. So there's a little trick for you. So this side here, we may get our transaction log side to keep track of how much we've spent out of a category. So when we go to close out our budget, we know that this went there. Same thing. So let's do that. Transaction log. All right, for this one, I'm gonna use this. Okay. There we go. Just gotta draw in the lines on here. All right, so there's transaction log for our sinking funds. And now to lay our sinking funds down right here. Okay. 
to our categories. So when we first started sinking funds, we definitely did not have as many as we do now. And just so everyone's aware, we do not set an amount to stuff in each category per month. Some people do that. We don't have that kind of flexibility yet. So we stuff what we can when we have the extra money to put towards it. And we base it on what's coming up that we need to fund. So it just depends on that. So we're going to go ahead and start with all of our categories that we have. So don't get overwhelmed with how many sinking funds there are. So first up, make sure we stay lined, is our anniversary. Our anniversary is in October, so we have plenty of time to save for this. We're hoping to save enough to do like an overnight weekend trip type thing but we shall see because i had to use some of this to help cover gas last month we have birthdays which is very important we have six people in our household that we celebrate we have car maintenance two cars we need oil changes you may need get uh tires just some work done on the cars anything like that we have car tags we pay three of those we have Christmas that's a big one clothes we don't normally go through clothes too often but it's nice to have some money sitting there in case we do need it we have dance for my daughter still trying to figure out what to put the boys in so as soon as I figure something out I can get them saving some money for them we have family fun, which is category we switch from like summer to family fun. That way you can use it all year round, but we haven't really used it. We haven't had anything fun to do yet. We do our gas for propane. We have gifts for any birthdays, baby showers, anything that we're invited to. We have holiday, anything other than Christmas. So Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's, 4th of July. If we have the money in the budget, we'll use the holiday fund here. Saving for household items for when we purchase our new home. Hopefully soon. We'll see. We have lawn. So when we, when the summer hits, we'll have money for the taking care of the yard. Medical. This will cover any over-the-counter prescriptions, any... Um, medicine that the kids need, doctors, co-pays, anything like that. I have a sinking fund. And I have an envelope in the sinking funds. I just like keeping track of what's in it. If I have money left over from my personal spending from the month, I will add it into there so I can save for a hair appointment, getting my nails done, treating myself to something. Just been setting it in there to save up that way for myself. We did get a doggy. So we've been saving some money for him. We have our Sam's Club a membership, which is due this month. So this is about to be emptied. And then we have school. So this covers any back to school items, anything they need throughout the year. Um, it covers all the bases there, pictures and everything. So we try to keep money there. My husband vapes. So we have him a category for money for getting vape equipment, um, juice, any new coils, anything like that that he may need. We have vision, which by now we still have not heard anything from when he went and did a exam to get contacts. Still haven't heard anything, but by now February is about to hit and he can use his insurance to get uh, contacts quicker than it's going to get them now so that's the thing and then we have a category for utilities which in this one here if there's money over our budget and amounts for our power and water i'll put the extra here that way on months like january when there is a very high bill we can pull from here instead of pulling from our savings so because January had a very high water bill. Don't know why it's always January. And I did not even think about it. So. But that is what utilities is there for. 
All right, so we're gonna lay down our total strip down here, and I'm gonna skip a line just in case we forgot one, you know. This mama brain this month is just, is there, but it's, 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 whew, it's a doozy. Draw in our lines. Okay, there is that. So as soon as I close out January's, I can get all of my numbers for how much we're going into for February. Let's see. Let's take this one and lay down at the bottom. Sorry if you can hear the kids. They are in there playing on their tablets and with each other. So, all right. So they're sinking funds. All right. So let's fill through everything we've done in this video. So we got our monthly view set up so we can track all of our expenses in here. We got our debt tracker and transaction log to start tracking our debt for February. We have our February budget set up and ready to go. We got to fill in a few numbers. We have our weekly check-in set up and ready to go and our transaction log for that. Our sinking funds is ready to go and our transaction log for that. So we have set up everything except our paycheck breakdown. We're going to do its own video for that. So y'all stay tuned for that video. I really hope that y'all like and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. That's my goal for the year. I can't wait to help as many people as I can to start on their budgeting journey. And I'm excited. I hope y'all are too. But I love getting our budget done and ready to go for the new month, the new year. All that fun stuff is always exciting to sit down and look at it, pen to paper, and see where we're sitting at. But if you reach this far into the video, please subscribe and comment something down below that's happened in January that was really good for you. If you were able to pay an extra $5 towards debt, that is a fabulous thing. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear some good stuff that happened in January to lift me up for February. So with that being said, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and I can't wait to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye now.